Okay. So I just want to do a little video about chicken of the woods. Um, it's a late porous species. Uh, I can't remember the exact Latin name, which I should, because I'm a certified mushroom expert in the state of Michigan. So I can legally identify and sell these guys. Uh, this is off a giant old tree. Happens to be my favorite tree on our property. Uh, I've been watching this uh, tree produce mushrooms for maybe four or five years now. And every year uh, the yield changes, you know. There's a bunch of debris from the years prior. Um, it did move from the far front side, maybe four years ago, it's moved over, moved over. This year it's very far over, I've never seen it this far. Um, but definitely the biggest uh, harvest of chicken in the woods that I've ever seen anyone post or boast about. So, uh, this is, this is moderate, you know, compared to what we get every year. Uh, definitely happy with it. Uh, never over harvest. Only take what you need. And you only need the soft couple inches on the outside. You can take the whole thing, but the main thing is you just don't want to touch anything that's uh, connected to the tree within a couple inches. And really, you only want the soft outer part anyway. You don't really, you don't want that thick, meaty part. So, I've taken a couple of the pretty ones on the outside. I'll probably take one like this, you know. Nice example of it. You don't want stuff like that. Uh, that. You don't want to eat that stuff. You know, lots of rain the last couple days. So I'm sure that was a factor here. But absolutely love this mushroom. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites, always has been. Uh, there's just so much of it, you know, that it can get a little tiresome, you know, eating. Compared to the other mushrooms like sand shells and morels, you know other delicacies that are choice edibles a little harder to come by but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working with I love it it makes me super happy so look at the large opening in the forest from this massive tree this wolf tree that fell down it's awesome. This is definitely one of my favorite trees. My my favorite tree. Got some Chemitase versicelli, some form of it. I have no idea. Probably a false one or something. I like this spot too. Tons of life out here. Got a bunch of bugs flying around. We got the triple E over here in Kalamazoo. Ah! It's not funny. It's Mother Nature doing what we've done to Earth back to us yeah don't take all of it only take what you need you can't eat the, all of it you can't sell it all at the farmers market all at one time you can't give it all away but you want to keep it in paper bags only take the outer leaves keep it in a cool dry refrigerated place Pretty mesmerizing. I'll jump up here. Mm. Sure.
show you guys the size of some of this stuff. There's a little guy. Up, up, and away. There's a little guy in there. I always like make sure to disperse some of the old stuff back into it. Oh, something. You brought a bone out here. Ants everywhere. Yeah, just make sure you don't uh, eat the stuff that the slugs been all over. Ants everywhere. Gotta put my hand on you. I just got to. Alright, here we go, mates. We got this, eh? I'm gonna do a little two step. Hey! Alright, see if we can make it up this side. I cheated, I used my hands. So dense and beautiful. Get you some. 